Okay, so I'm about to install the water methanol nozzle plate. Um, I have just tested the system and it does work. But what I want to do now is set my Hobbs boost pressure switch to come on at 5 psi. Um, and I want to do that because I'm aiming to run around 9 psi for the initial tune. So I want it to come on just over half of maximum boost. So to set the 5 psi, what I've done is I've got uh, a tire and deflated it to uh, just over 5 psi. And I'll just double check that again. So just over 5. Then what I'm going to do is pretty much just use an old air gun and old, old regulator hose I had lying around to drive the boost. Okay, so I wound the switch all the way down, so all the way clockwise. I'm not going to run the motor, I'm just going to leave the ignition on because um, all I want to do is see if the pump works. What I've done with the switch is I've plumbed the switch into my e-boost um, uh, line, which is getting it's the same information as the boost and straight off the, uh, the manifold. Um, what I'm going to do is pretty much just keep testing it until it comes on. So let's give that a shot now. Nothing there, we'll just go on quarter turns. Still nothing. <laughs> it's going to come on hopefully. Alright, so the pump came on. So we'll fine tune a little bit. Go back. Nothing. Go again. Alright, hopefully. Pretty much more exactly where I had it before. Alright. So that's it. Um, we can double check that on the boost gauge, which we'll do now. If on the day I need to adjust it further, it's um, one full rotation clockwise increases the activation point by around two PSI, and one full rotation counterclockwise decreases it by uh, two PSI. Um, that's what the manual says anyway, so we'll see what happens on the day. Um, I've used quite a bit of the boost juice during it, so I think we'll stop there before, um, before I go broke on the juice.